Okay, so what I'm going to show you now is how to tweak out your vocals, make them sound a little bit more brutal. If there were certain screams and stuff like that that you weren't digging too much. Um, as far as uh, you know, tracking, stuff like that, sometimes you know, a fresh vocalist, they, their vocal cords aren't really conditioned to scream enough, in which case you know, they, they keep a solid tone. So um, I'm going to show you how to do a couple tricks to make your vocalist sound really brutal. You know, uh, even if they, they weren't. Or if you want to just spice up an already brutal vocalist by throwing a little little stuff, you know, a little distortion on his vocals as well as some other tricks I'm going to show you. So um, you know, I'll show you that and I'm going to show you some low drops too. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I brought up a project. It's basically a rockabilly project. I figured what better way to tweak out and show how you can make something sound like a scream than to bring up something that wasn't really meant to be screamed, you know, as, as far as vocal wise. So. I got a project here, it's a rockabilly uh, local band, they sent me these tracks to kind of fix up for them, so I just opened the stuff, you got you know, a basic mix of their stuff, kick, snare, none of that's really edited yet. I'm going to show you a scream that, that uh, caught my attention now, check this one out. Definitely stressed and definitely not meant to be how, how it ended up. Yeah. So that's kind of a cracky, it, it kind of crackles. You know, it doesn't really come off as brutal as we wanted it. Yeah. It's okay, but it's kind of breathy. So here's what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to bring up this channel. I was messing with it earlier. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm throwing, you know, I got two vocal tracks. If you notice, he kind of threw a scream in here that he didn't on the others. Um, I basically have two tracks from here identical overlapped on each other. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this, this scream. Yeah. And we're going to kind of even it out. Let's throw a compressor on it. It kind of sounds a little quiet. So I threw just a basic compressor on it. You know, uh, what I did was I, I turned the ratio, you know, all the way up so it's smashed. And then threshold all the way down. Well, not all the way down, but pretty smashed down there. And then I kind of pushed the gain up a little bit. So we're going to even this out. Now let's check this out. You can hear a lot of low end from whatever microphone they were using, you know, in, in the mix. So you can throw an EQ on that, kind of roll off the lows. Um, but let's not worry about that stuff. Let's just worry about making him sound brutal. So basically what I did on the next effects channel is I added, you know, just a basic distortion plugin. It's called Lo-Fi. They have a ton of different stuff. They, they have uh, 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 a thing called Audio Track, you know, I, I believe it is. Yeah, Audio Track's got some distortion. Bomb Factory has some distortion they, they give out for free, actually, if you sign up for the mailing list, I'm pretty sure. So um, here, you know, here we go. We got this kind of distortion thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start throwing, tweaking up, you know, turning up some of this distortion on his vocals. Here's the dry stuff. I'm going to start, you know, messing with it. Okay, so I'm going to throw this up. So that's already sounding... You know, that sounded real brutal compared to how it was before, so, you know, I'm throwing a little noise, there's a little high-end, you know, hiss type, type noise that you're going to want to get rid of, and I'll show you how to get rid of that next, so, check it out. Yeah. You know, compared to, yeah. you know, kind of dead, it's a lot louder, so, you know, louder, a little more uh, distortion on it, so it sounds like he's actually... A little more epic. So we got our distortion on it. Now let's throw that gate on. Basically, what a gate is is think of it. You know, you probably already know, but think of it as you know stuff enters, and then when the gate slams, nothing else comes in. So uh, what we're doing here is we're gonna let all the distortion come in. You know, uh, and then when he stops, it's gonna cut off immediately, so we don't hear you know any of the fake distortion. We don't want people to know that we tweaked out the vocals. We just kind of want to give them a little boost. So, you know, I throw this, this gate on, you'll, you'll notice it here, I've already tweaked it out a little bit, but, you know, you can, you can change uh, the ratio, you know, um, threshold, I might have to change it around, but let's see how good it is. Yeah, yeah you'll notice a little bit of stuttering, um, so what we'll do is push that up a little bit. Perfect. Stops, you know, at the exact moment it needs to. So we get rid of all that extra, you know, distortions. Now we got over compression. We got, you know, distortion on his vocals to make it sound brutal. And we got a gate, so we cut off the last. So here's another trick that I add on. I just add, you know, in the next effects, you know, rack right there, 
I basically put just kind of a, you know, a, a standard delay type, type thing, a, a dual, kind of a two-tap delay. Um, you're not going to want, you're not going to want like a reggae, you know, dub kind of, you know, clack, 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 clack kind of thing. You're just going to want kind of a, you know, a, literally just milliseconds late, just a couple things. And here's, you know, here's what I did. I, I basically just threw two on, kept them kind of subtle in the mix, you know, low as far as their gain. And as far as their timing, I didn't make them, you know, stretched out like this. I mean, if, if you wanted this, you'll see it's very reggae-esque. Check this out. You know, that's, that's too reggae, that's not what we're going for. So we're going to do a very subtle kind of low thing in the mix. So it's very subtle, but you, you can't tell, but you can definitely feel that it's a lot more, you know, uh, epic. You got two other things boosting it up, so it's, it's basically, um, you know, uh, pushing up your, your vocal, you know, your vocalist, uh, you know, range as far as how, how much air it sounds like he, you know, delivered on that scream. So once again, let's check that out. You know, and you can tell there's a little reverb tap on there, but once it's in the mix, you're not going to be able to tell that. So what I'm going to end it with is I'm going to throw another compressor on, you know, cranked up again, uh, just to smash it all a little. Let's see if that benefits it. This isn't really necessary, but I kind of am a fan of over compression in death metal. Okay, so I mean, you can hear the kind of slap back kind of thing. You're not going to notice that in the mix, but, you know, you basically went from, you know, this you know to uh this you know so it sounds epic i mean i, I could even cut off some of the end of that you know scream if i wanted to make it sound better but you know let's go ahead and um let's uh, you know let's play it back uh with the mix let's see what this sounds like A little quiet, I'll boost that up. So definitely adds, you know, to, to the music as far as the uh, energy and such like that, you know, compared to, to before. It was pretty weak and you could tell he was kind of cracking and uh, messing around. So now you got a pretty powerful, you know, scream track. Um, you, if you wanted to, you could duplicate this, have the original and kind of cut, you know, cut and paste which ones you want to have a scream, which ones you don't. So check this out. I mean, these are these guys are rockabilly, but I'm, I'm just going to start making them sound a little death metal-esque. Um, so here we go. We got our scream that we just tweaked out, you know. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. So let's do this. What I'm going to do is copy, you know, or you could do the separate like we did with our, our kick drum, you know, changes. I just separated it and now, you know, you got a duplicate of the exact same thing. So here's a trick that you can do with your low screams. Now check it out. This is this channel doesn't have any any effects on it like this one. This is basically his his dry scream that we were kind of pissed off about. Now check this out again. Yeah. You know, so that that was that one. So here's a trick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a free plugin called Pitch Shift. You have a lot of these things. It's kind of it's just basically for time, but uh, you, you don't want to be changing the time. You just want to be changing the tone. So if you have an option in your plugin for time correction, then definitely click that so that it doesn't you know get slow or uh, super short if you're going high. You know it'll keep the same you know uh, tempo, the same size and basically length of, of that tone, but it's just going to change you know the actual uh, notation of it. So I'm going to dip this down to about let's see what 12 semitones sounds like. I mean that's that's getting that's like the devil right there. Let's try eleven. So I mean that's obviously not his his vocal tone. You know he's he's not a a big devilish dude. That's eleven semitones. So you could you could go to ten or nine if if you're trying to be safe. But you know what I'm trying to do is just make a big deviation between our fake scream that we duplicated. Um, you know, up here, the, the high end, and then we're gonna have a low right there. And this trick comes in cool, you know, it comes in effect, and it's actually really cool to mess with if you already have a vocalist that does growls, stuff like that. 
you know, that he's already pretty good with his lows, just dip that two semitones, just a little bit more to give him a little bit more of that low tone. You can even do, you know, you could even duplicate this, have two of his low channels, and just make one, you know, three semitones low, and it'll be, you know, basically just kind of a, a heavy thing that you keep under the mix. So let's go and check and see what this sounds like together now. So now we got this death metal high, low sounding thing. I mean, that, that's straight up, you know, uh, a lot of this black metal that I'm hearing nowadays is, is straight up, you know, highs and lows. But we've gone from taking kind of a mediocre scream, you know, throwing a compressor on it, some distortion, a gate to cut that back, you know, a little bit of echo, you know, uh, delay just to make it a little more powerful, and then compressed all of that into one. And, uh, you know, we basically got now just a, a, a mediocre, kind of stretched, you know, forced scream into now pretty brutal, energetic sounding scream, you know, with some, with a tweaked out low end right here, you know, that we, we just copy and pasted. So let's check that out. <laughs> sounds much better and, and there's a, a tone at the end that's kind of getting to me that kind of breathe note so all I'll do with that is cut it out you know kind of add a fade on both of them see how that sounds so that's a little better you don't have that kind of mm, you know his, his little breathe thing so you know uh, so basically you know that's how you do distortion tweaks as far as you know uh, manipulating your vocals